As the temperature outside gets colder and colder, it becomes more of a reality that winter is coming. It's going to be cold. It's going to be fierce. It's going to be difficult. And living in a car during that time scares me. I actually had a good idea of what I was going to do in the winter and how I would make living in my small Volkswagen Beetle a good option for winter living, but I actually ended up aborting that mission and I explain more about that later on in this video. I'm on my way to a cool place, but it's leading me in the destination of where I plan to go in the winter, but it's actually not going to work out. And I'll explain more about that in the next video, actually. I'm headed to a natural hot spring. I've never been here before, so I don't know exactly where it is. I hope I can find it. And this is really what I've been after. I've gone to some really incredible built hot springs that you have to pay, but I think it's even more magical and freaking just like incredible when you go to a hot spring that's just in the natural surroundings. You don't have to pay and it just feels very earthy and amazing and connected and I'm super stoked. This water is really beautiful and wonderful. It's cold as ice. So where is the hot spring? I found it. It's incredible. It's better than I ever could have imagined. There's a family in there right now, so I don't want to film them. So, film them. So, maybe they're gonna leave? I don't know. Um, it's amazing. The natural beauty of this area was quite breathtaking. I have never soaked in a hot spring with a more magical, incredible, amazing view than this one here today. Whoa. Oh my God. It's amazing in there. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness. This water was so freaking cold, it was like ice. It was extremely invigorating after the relaxing hot spring.
All right, now I'm headed to another hot spring. It's quite a drive, honestly. I don't think I'm gonna get there before dark. I hope I will, but I don't know. So hopefully, if not, there's gonna be a perfectly wonderful spot for me to park and camp for the night. Um, but we're just gonna have to see how it goes. I'm hoping it's gonna be a bit hotter because the one I was just at was wonderful, but it was more like warm. It definitely wasn't hot. It wasn't even as hot as the uh, creek that I secretly swam in <laughs> in Arkansas. You know, I talked to someone who had lived there for 40 years and I told him it was warm. He didn't even know. I'm like, my goodness. <laughs> There I am, first time ever there. I'm like swimming in there. Anyways, I'm gonna hit the road and cover as much ground as possible. aborted the mission of that hot springs um, I was just driving 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 down the secluded road and I lost service and like there was no one and it just started to feel like mm, this probably isn't the best idea to go there and sleep there so I turned around and it was like an hour to where I was hour to get back to civilization <laughs> and I just don't feel like driving there again like sleeping and then driving there again in the morning and then driving back out um because it's like over a two hour drive to get in there and then you have to I would have to basically turn around on the same road like two two and a half hours the way back um and I'm actually headed back to California so adding another five hours to the journey um I could do I'm it's not like I'm on a deadline or anything but I just don't feel like doing it so um, I'm gonna head to another hot spring though and it's actually one that one of my subscribers told me about so uh, We're gonna head there and it's far for where we are right now, so I'm probably going to Sleep in a rest area. I imagine but I feel like I could drive for a bit longer. So that's the plan. Good morning guys So it's 5 a.m. I'm back on the road. I did pull off last night. I was so freaking exhausted I couldn't even make it to a rest stop. So I just pulled off at a gas station and Slept there and it was great. I got some sleep and then I woke up and was like, oh dang later than I wanted it to be. I wanted to get back on the road like before four, but it's five o'clock. Um, the gas station was closed. I was like trying to go to the bathroom and it was closed. And I was like, dang. So I had to go around the backside. <laughs> Anyways, I'll check in a bit later. You're gonna make it to the next stop. Can we just take a moment to marvel at this setup? I am amazed yet again by a small little tweak that really changes things. When I use my little electric burner, I don't even have to pull out the pull out of the wood thing. I have been looking forward to pulling over, taking a break from driving and making my tea since I got on the road at five in the morning. <laughs> it is now 9.48, oh my goodness. I was gonna stop at a rest area, it ended up being freaking closed. That is the worst, the worst is when you're driving, driving, driving and it's at night and you're like, oh, rest area. Oh gosh, I'm so tired. Thank the heavens. I'm gonna pull over. And then it's closed and you're like, oh, I hope I can make it to the next one. You have like no choice, but I was exhausted yesterday or last night. I wanted to film going to bed and waking up, but that just didn't happen. 
Oh my goodness, I'm trying this new honey. It is so freaking delis delicious. <laughs> we be honey naturally raw, HMF tested. It looks like so awesome. Honey fact, for y'all who may not know this, 80% of honey sold in the USA is imported. Unfortunately, this has led to the decline of the US beekeeping industry. If you're eating honey, it's so important to source quality honey. This one, never heated, filter or strained, rich in pollen, propolis, enzymes, antioxidants. Oh my goodness. Um, anyways, my friends, winter is coming. Winter is coming. That's why I'm headed back to California. Uh, I kind of initially, once I moved into my car, I thought that I was looking into, I was researching winter, you know, because that was on the forefront of my mind because I knew it was coming. And I'm like, my gosh, living in a car in the winter, like, how am I going to do it? I looked up Florida. I Well, I looked up the warmest state in the winter and Florida uh, is the warmest state in the winter. And honestly, because I was going to Tennessee, I thought, well, after Tennessee, I'll just go to Florida and I'll stay there through the winter. But I really want to be with my family on the holidays. They really want me there, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas. And um, being alone in my car on the holidays when I have wonderful people to be with over here, I uh, just didn't seem like a, what I want to do so I decided to come back I could come here and then go back there but you guys driving that far is intense this is the farthest I've ever driven like at one shot or like you know during a trip all the way from California to Tennessee it's really far but not only that is it's really expensive in gas like I've spent so much money on gas it's like oh my goodness so to go, go there come there go back uh, for the winter plus keep in mind you have to drive through all the states I actually spent a great deal of time agonizing over whether or not to come back here on my same route or go up on the other route and stop off on all these other cool places and I wanted to do it but winter is coming and I was looking at various temperatures in different places and I'm like wow I just don't know like I don't know if it's gonna snow I don't know if my car is good as well another thing I have a significant repair that I need done on my car so uh, I just want to save up for that and get it done. Um, it's going to cost more than I've ever paid for a car. <laughs> because my first car was $1,500. My second car was $1,700 something, I believe. And then the third car I split with Patrick. And total it was $3,500. So... And this repair is going to be like the cost of my second car. <laughs> yeah, so winter is coming. So I'm headed back to California. I spoke with my folks and we're going to try out a very different living situation. It really wasn't working for a few reasons, which are personal that I didn't want to share um, for the most part. But... One reason is it just, so living in the house wasn't really working uh, for multiple reasons, but there's a alternative strange living situation that we're gonna try out. <laughs> so I'm headed back to see what that is gonna be like and if it's gonna work and we're just gonna have to see so stay tuned for that i'm gonna do the reveal of what that living situation is um in another video but i'm not gonna be living in the house with them that was not working so and after like you know traveling a bunch across the country 
I want to be in California, you know? I don't want to live somewhere cheaper that I can afford. Um, a lot of people are leaving California because it's so expensive. Actually, in Hot Springs, Arkansas, there was so many people that were like, oh, I'm from California. Oh, I was from there. Oh, I'm from there. I'm like, my goodness. <laughs> it was wild. Anyways, oh, one other thing. This is such a long talk. I hope it's all right. You guys enjoying the talk? Um, I... Oh, I'm not going to go to the other hot spring. So by the time I get there, the sun will be like straight up in the sky. There won't be any shade anywhere. And uh, it's also a weekend. And that time, I imagine there'll be a lot of people there. So I would prefer to do a separate trip where I'm rested. I haven't just been driving a crap ton. And I'm not feeling... Ugh. <laughs> and then knowing that after I still have a long drive to get to where I'm going I'd rather go there be fully like ready for the experience and maybe hang around that area for a little bit um and yeah I want to and be there in the morning when it's super early uh, because I love being places when it's super early like sunrise time there's barely anyone there the weather will be really cool which will feel so good in the hot springs so yeah i'm just not i'm yeah <laughs> that is the plan and i could stay there tonight right and wake up in the morning and be there but the thing is is i have a lot of work i need to do tomorrow so as well as some important matters to attend to so i can't be driving tomorrow i need to be like posted somewhere so i just want to get where i'm going basically all right but i need to get some food yeah <laughs> also i just want to mention that i'm excited to do some winter camping and stuff like that i've never done that before and i think it'll make interesting videos as well be as a cool experience uh but there's a difference between like spending some time in the winter and a full-on winter in the car which i could do i mean there's people that do it but there's this other option, and I want to explore it. It sounds better. <laughs> Sunday, November 7th, RSVP at kcrw.com slash events. Everybody. It's so, like, you can't really see a whole lot, but that's all good. I can see more than when I was driving to the sunlight last night. I stopped off because I don't feel like cooking anything and I need to get something to eat. So guess where I wound up? Whole Foods. Well, I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> they didn't have what I wanted. So, I couldn't think because I just been driving so much and I'm brain dead. Um, so I just got something that I know is freaking delicious and I love so much, but. Okay, so pretty much best combo ever. <laughs> Sun butter and dates. It's not what I thought I was gonna get, but. Oh, my hips hurt. Uh, oh, God. Oh, where's my thing to stir this? Maybe it doesn't need to be stirred. Be jealous, friends. Be very jealous. This is the best. These are some really, really beautiful, gooey, amazing dates. Oh my gosh.
So good. Gonna drive some more. I'm on the home stretch now. Really looking forward to not driving for a little bit. <laughs> be wonderful. So thanks for tuning in, guys. I'm gonna end the video here. I do hope you enjoyed it. Spirulina mouth. Ah. Um. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.